As a man, what did I learn from going to every single one of my wife's midwife appointments? Now, this actually took me $5,000 investment to be able to learn that you can learn to have it up level your success, which is what you're going to learn inside of this video. My name is Nicholas Bailey. This is my channel. You're going to want to hit that subscribe button right now before we get started because we're about to jump into it. Now, I know that for you to be a man on the other side of this video is probably pretty rare because most men wouldn't be searching for this inside of their video, but I know that you're probably a woman watching it and you want your husband or significant other to watch it, so make sure that he does because it's going to increase your level of success. Now, if you're a man searching this, then congratulations congrats because you definitely are that husband material. And I knew for me, like I didn't want to do life the normal way. This is constantly what I'm talking about. And I knew that for most men, they don't go to the appointments to be able to go uh, to the midwife. My wife and I are actually doing a home birth and I'm actually taking classes on how I can be the coach inside of her home birth, meaning like I'm pretty much going to do everything, but our midwife is going to be there to make sure that her expertise, making sure that she's good, checking the baby's heart rate, and she's like the expert in the whole thing, but I wanted to be a part of the birth, and it's been so interesting seeing how many men out there are not involved in pregnancy, birth, and man, 25% of homes right now are fatherless, up to 80% in some cities, which means that a lot of men aren't even involved after the child is born, let alone actually being present, which is probably even higher than that. Ouch, that really hurts. So what did I learn? So when we first got this uh, midwife, we, we wanted to do a home birth, we wanted to do it correctly, and it was a $5,000 investment. Now the $5,000 investment for some insurances can actually be refunded, so remember that as well. Yet uh, underneath our insurance, it definitely was refunded, and that was really awesome. Yet we fronted it up front, and I was so excited. We first met once a month, and then we started meeting once every two weeks. And now we're in the phase right now of meeting once a week before our son is here. And here's what I learned that was so interesting. When we first went to the first midwife appointment, she gave us a breakdown. She gave us simple things that we should do to make sure the baby's in the right position, to make sure that the baby's being nourished, to make sure that we're doing everything the correct way before we get ready for birth, right? And it was so interesting. It was like, eat healthy, hydrate, take these supplements. And there was little tweaks each and every time. It was like, go exercise, go walk. But like things that I could have literally Googled on the internet. And I realized like every month or every two weeks or every week that we went there, it was like the same thing. Like, are you guys walking? Are you guys working out? Are you guys doing this? Are you drinking your water? Are you eating healthy? And every single week I was like, wait a second, like did we just pay someone $5,000 to say the same thing every single week week after week after week and this is what besides being at the birth like that's what we're paying for someone to do and that's how most people think right it's like they think that they need to be told all these extra things they need to be told like all these miraculous things that that a midwife should know or a coach should know or a mentor should know that they have to know all these like astronomical things that would just absolutely blow their mind right? That's what most people think. They, these are called value buyers. They want to just get a lot of stuff and everything. They don't want a good roll of toilet paper. They just want a thousand rolls of crappy toilet paper for the cheapest price. They're, they're people that want a million videos inside of a package rather than the one video that they actually need because they feel like they're getting more. They're people that literally will buy food that they don't like because it has more food on the plate for the price than the thing that they actually do like. This is the person that instead of getting three ounces of Wagyu steak that's their favorite steak in the entire world, they'd rather get a 24 ounce ribeye even though they're only gonna eat three ounces because it just makes more sense to get more stuff for the price. Okay, enough with that rant. Here's what I actually learned that changed my life forever. Every month that before we would go in, I realized that we'd hear the message of the fitness and the, what we should do with the hydration and everything. And we would just derail off the plan just a little bit and then the next month would happen and boom, we'd be back on motivated, excited, and accountable. And I realized that all of a sudden as we got closer, it became more urgent that we were doing these things correctly. So every two weeks I realized like we'd get off a little bit, we'd stop walking as much, we'd stop eating the healthy foods, we'd stop taking our supplements as much. And then all of a sudden we have a meeting, boom, and we were back accountable. And all of a sudden it was week to week to week to week, which is where we're at now. And I realized something that it, one, it's all about the simple, consistent things that get us massive results. So many times we want like this new idea or this big idea, or we want these people to tell us all these different things. When you look at LeBron James, he gets paid the big bucks. Why? Because he knows how to dribble, pass, rebound, shoot free throws, three pointers, etc. The simple things. It's not street basketball. It's not someone that's out there doing backflips, doing under the legs dunks and all these different things. Those are things that take more effort, but actually don't produce as many results. And what I realized from this midwife point is I had an epiphany and went, 
oh my goodness, what's the power of the accountability of having that coach where each month, even though it's the same things and we already know the answers and blah, 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 I already know this stuff, how far have we gone off the path? And each meeting, boom, we're back accountable again. And when we're accountable to those simple things that we're meant to do in life, what type of results does it create? And do those results equal a return on the investment that you have? And I realized for me, it was an absolute no-brainer. And I realized that in my life, I was going to apply what I learned from this midwife who in, we had invest $5,000 to meet with to tell us the same thing month after month, week after week, bi-weekly, every single time telling us the same exact thing, hardly anything different to prepare for the birth. I realized that that simple thing done over and over again with consistency and accountability was what was gonna give us the results that we ultimately wanted in birth. Not a bunch of head knowledge, but a healthy baby delivered the right way. So what the, can this do for you? Go out there, get a mentor, get a coach, learn from people the basics, make sure you have accountability and you have consistency to be able to produce results with those things and don't just go try to follow the people that are trying to give you a boatload of information, get the things that are gonna help you, get the result and the life that you want. If you like this video, make sure to drop a comment below on your thoughts from this video and I'll see you on the next one.